So let us talk about what are the different kind of Java classes that we have. So Maximo is a J2W product and it is written in Java. All the business logic are there in Java, but then there are different kind of classes that are available and we can create also different kind of classes if you want to modify the out of the box behavior. So if we try to categorize, there are multiple different kind of classes are available and these classes are divided on the basis of what kind of work they can do. For example, the first basic thing we have is MBO class or the object level class. This is the class is responsible for fetching the data. Whenever you are going to save the data, you are creating a new record and you are going to click on the save button. Then at this point of time, you will be having MBO classes. If this is the classes which will be fetching data from the MBO set as well. Then you have field level classes. The field level classes are the one which will be called when you are doing operation specifically on the field. For example, you are tabbing out in a field and you want certain action to happen, then that is field level classes. Then you have action classes which are having two kind of classes. One is custom cron classes and the other one is UI action. So UI action is nothing but the buttons that you are creating the clicking. Whenever you are going to click a button, there will be a class which will be called and that is nothing but UI action class. And if you are writing a custom cron task in Maximo to do certain job and you want this particular job to happen on a particular frequency, you will actually be writing custom cron action. The next one is service. So services are nothing but predefined methods and these services are some of the helper classes. You might have seen these when the Maximo loads and when the Maximo loads, Maximo starts that point of time these classes loads in the memory. These are the first classes we will be using in the memory. There are certain classes like security services. There are certain classes like bulletins, board services. These are some of the classes which are loaded in the memory and they provide some of the method which can be accessed very frequently. The next one is condition. You can write multiple different kind of conditions. For example, you can write conditions in workflow when you want to validate whether the workflow should go on positive line on the negative line. You can associate the condition classes over there. Then the next one is role base. This is the classes which are written when you want to customize the logic of to whom the assignment should go. You are creating a role and it is not just two condition. It's not just if and else condition. You also want to add if else and other type of conditions. Then in that case, you can create role based classes. We will see how this particular thing will work in Maximum Automation Script. The other one is Bean classes, which is very famous because these are the UI classes and they have categorized into two of the portion. One is App Bean and other one is Data Bean. So the UI functionalities that you are seeing on the UI, Maximum UI, many of the method is available into the B App classes, App Bean classes. And if you are working with dialogues, then you will see the data being come into the picture. Last one is integration. This is a big category where you have multiple different class of classes. For example, you have processing class, you have handlers, you have user exit classes and you have event filter classes. The use of these classes are to work with the metadata structures like ER data, IR data or the JSON structure and the MBO and filter data or to filter data or do different kind of uh, modifications at different different layers. So we will be talking in detail about the classes when we will see the integration classes. Now, if you see for all these classes, there are equivalent automation scripts which have been given. First of all, why automation script? So the idea of automation script is that you can write them in Python, in JavaScript, in Ashton, and they do not need a downtime. So the one of the problem with Java classes is that whenever you are want to extend them in that particular case, case you have to deploy Java classes which require a downtime, which is not the case in case of automation script. So this table will actually help you to identify if you want to write a Java class, a particular kind of, kind of Java class, what will be the equivalent automation script that you will be writing. So if you have MBO class, then you will actually be writing object based launch point for automation script. For field level classes, we will be using attribute based launch point. If we are writing any action on the UI, then action based launch point are available. If we are doing conditions for workflow, then we will write condition based launch point. If we are writing custom cron, then in that case of custom cron, there is already a out of the box class which is available. 
and we can basically associate this class whenever we are going to create an action and we can associate our automation script with this. So we will see this in example. The role base class which extends custom role adapter as I mentioned that if you want to if you want to programmatically decide when the assignment will be given whether to a person group A or person group B or person group C for example in that case you will be able to use the role base and classes and the equivalent can be written in uh, automation script where when you are going to create a role in the custom role you will be able to associate this automation this is the out of the box class which is a script custom role class the next one is bean class so bean class handles all the service methods and you will be able to write the logic into object based launch point as well uh, you will can also write them in action based launch point but one of the thing is that this in automation script you have to use service methods now with 7.6 and in mass the support of service methods has been increased but generally you will still not we are still not at a point where we will be able to do all the bean class customization with automation script but most of them is now available in maximum then the last one is integration for the instant integration there are no four different kind of classes if you go to automation script you will see that it opens a much bigger uh, dialogue and you will be able to create integration based automation script so what is the reason for explaining this the only reason is that you understand that there are different different kind of classes and for different different classes there is a different different roles which have been assigned to them and then there are equivalent automation scripts that has to be created